Hi everyone, welcome to day 10 of my and this challenge. We will be solving one of the SQL question asked by top tech companies like Facebook, Google, Netflix. So let's see the question. So the question says you are given a table with the below columns which is user ID, user name and the mail address. Write a SQL query to find user whose email address contain only lower case letters before the address symbol. So we need to find out those user with a valid email address who has only lower letter before the address symbol like this symbol right so this is not a valid email address because we do not have address sign and uh, this one is a valid email address but we do have dash so that is not allowed now here you can see this one is a valid email address but we have dot so that is not going to be selected so we need those user who has only lower case before this address sign so let's go ahead and solve this question i'm going to show you how you can solve this question with both rtbms so now let's first select everything from the table you can see i'm going to use a filter on this column which is called regular expression so i'm going to say where and i'm going to say mail and uh, i'm using postgres at the moment so i'm going to i need to use this operator sign now if you are using mysql you need to use a regular expression here i will show you in a while so i'm going to say mail now this regular expression sign which you call operator here and i will just need to write something like this which is inside the quotes i need to find my i need to write my patterns so what i want to find out is that this sign i need to enter which is called this and caret sign so here i need to enter inside the square bracket i need to enter a to z that means i want those user where their mail start with a to z this is my first condition now it could be any characters that is in lower case which is a to z that's my first condition now second what i want is that after this a to z right i want maybe a dot if in case i need a dot so i can add the dot here so what i can say here is that like this plus and let me just add my second condition so i will add adrid now i'm going to say that adrid so this is going to be my name and then adrid and i will be adding a to z again that's going to be the domain name now domain name could be anything like starting with a to z which is yahoo.com gmail or outlook right it could be anything and i need one more expressions that is uh, that is going to be again dot com right after the dot here i will be adding a dot here i would again add a to z so this is going to select me the email address which start with a to z and then it has a red sign this is the mandatory whatever you enter in the brackets so it could be like any number of characters which is only can contain a to z right now i'm saying plus now here i'm giving a, a dot sign so that dot is mandatory right so i'm saying at rate a to z and i'm saying this in dot now i need to skip this and dos using a backslash so i'm going to add a backslash here okay and uh, now as i have added three expressions which is my first expression second expressions and third expressions now here what you have outside that is mandatory now this is going to be selecting like the email that start with a to z then we are adding another expression which is going to be at rate and we are saying a to z the domain name could have anything like a to z and then i'm saying plus and then i'm saying backslash and dot so this backslash is going to skip this dot and then it is going to check again a to z after the dot it's going to check a to z now i will just need to use plus and a dollar sign to end my expression here so dollar sign okay now i can just run this query this is going to select all those user which email address start with a to z and then they have a red sign and then they have the domain name which is start with a to z and plus then they have again the domain name and after the dot like dot com dot in so that start with something like a to z so let's just run this query and let's see the result now you can see we have two email which is winston and john so they both have the lower case before this at rate sign now let's say i need email address with this number as well so i can add one more expression here after this i can add maybe here like zero to nine so this is going to select all those email address which has start with a to z and zero to nine so let's see now i can see we have those email address which is starting with characters lowercase and uh, that has also number which is like this 250906 right now i can also add dot here as well if in case i need dot so i can add a dot here so let's go now you can see it is selecting those email address which has this string 
lower case then dot then it has string and that then it also has like numbers like this so this is how you can use regular expression to find the pattern now this dollar sign the reason we are using this dollar sign just to just to sum up all this expression that we are using and this dollar sign is the delimiter so this is the end point of all this string that we have entered okay now let's say i want to solve the same question in mysql how we can solve it so let's go back to mysql now i have also created the same database in mysql to solve this question so let me just open mysql workbench we are inside the mysql workbench and uh, you can see i have the same table which has the same user id name and the mail let's say i want to solve the same question right so what i can do here is that i can just show you the table it's the same table so i will just copy paste the answer here okay so in mysql you cannot use this operator you need to write something called r e g e x p which is full form of regular expression okay so now i can just run this query it's going to give me the result the same result let's just check now i can see we are having the same result which is showing it here you just need to write r e g e x p that is how you can solve the same problem now you can add more pattern based on the requirement that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you really like my content do subscribe to my channel and do like the video also you can write down your solutions in the comment box have a good day take care bye bye